Coming from a military family, you see my father Alan, he served, he trained for Vietnam uh, in Fort Worth, California. My grandfather, George Osmond, I'm the first grandchild out of 57 Osmond grandkids to get that name. And uh, he served our nation as an army sergeant in World War II. I got a lot of family members that have served. My great uncle's a Pearl Harbor survivor. So I, I always wanted to, to write a song that, that paid tribute and said thank you to these brave souls that are out there fighting for our country. But it, it stands back to a night when I was in Hawaii last year. And I was hanging out with some Marines and these guys just said, Nathan, if you want people in country music to like you, do us a favor, write a song about us and people will embrace it. And I thought about that for a second. I said, you know what, I'll do it. You know, getting to write the song with Marwena Diami was just incredible. First of all, she's bedridden. She's over in Scotland across the pond and technology brought us together. But when she said, what do you want to write about today? And we said, I want to write about the troops, you know. She got really excited about that. It's just amazing though how, you know, a lady in Scotland and, and a guy over here in Nashville and in Utah can get on and write together and create a song like this. The inspiration was just, it just came real fast. Uh, Marwena, you know, she, she went scouring the internet trying to find cinematographers that could help to direct this video. And uh, she sent me a couple. She sent me, the first one she sent me, she, she prayed about it, trying to find inspiration and guidance and finding somebody that could really bring Stars and Stripes to life. And she found this guy named Brandon Beckham. And she sent me his website. I'm like, I know that guy. There he is shooting out in the, uh, the, the salt flats of Utah. He did a military thing and he's one of the most patriotic guys I've ever met. And I said, if there's anyone that's going to put his whole heart and soul into this, it's this patriotic guy named Brandon Beckham. And so I called him up, and the rest is history. I'm just really uh, excited to work in an atmosphere where I'm able to actually give something back to the community. And specifically with this, um, I have a lot of gratitude in my heart for, the, for uh, those who are servicemen and servicewomen um, who sacrifice so much for our country. And um, for me, it was just an honor to do that. We were so honored to get to feature a, a real military couple from Utah, from Fillmore, Utah, Robert and Krista Iverson. The way that we came about meeting each other in the first place is I was asked to come sing at a political rally where some people that were running for office were going to be speaking. And I was thinking, well, it's a Saturday and it was a favor. And I said, OK, I'll go do it. But there was this couple, this military couple, sitting in the audience that was moved by this performance. Krista Iverson came up and talked to me as I was packing up my guitar. I expressed my gratitude to him for the song in which he wrote. I let him know that if he ever needed a sexy Marine that we, I had one available for him. I, thought, I think she probably thought I was kidding, but I said, I'm serious. So I got their phone number, called them up, and they did such an amazing job in this video. They were so uh, punctual, so right on, so precise, and always yes sir, no sir. And that was unusual for me, but, uh, but I liked it. You, are you doing okay for water? Yes sir, thank you. Um, working with Rob, he's, he's at the actual Marine that's featured in this music video. And he um, would work with me, and I wanted to keep everything you know, as authentic as possible. Action! And so I would ask Rob, I'd say, hey, what would you do in a situation like this? How would you have your gun? How would you have your rifle? How would you, how would you do this or that? And we kept everything as accurate as possible um, in terms of the military and the procedures that they, they go through. In 2003, during the invasion of Iraq, I was assigned as a forward observer on a M1 tank. As we were crossing from Kuwait into Iraq, just south of Safwan, the city of Safwan, my tank was was impacted and destroyed by an anti-tank guided missile. Recall seeing Captain Banning, the tank commander, staring at me as if to, you know, to ask what, what, what was wrong with you. And from there he just looked out of his vision blocks, announced in a very calm, unimpassioned voice, we're on fire, evacuate the tank. And we got out of there. The crew piled out and we all survived. I was the only one even slightly injured because I was hanging out of the turret at the time. But in retrospect, it seems a very miraculous event to me.
because if things had been slightly different, if the missile had impacted slightly forward, or if there was not a, an obstruction between me and where the missile actually impacted, I would have most almost certainly been killed. It is rare that armored vehicle crews survive events like that. For me, being on camera was a very awkward experience. I'm not used to that. I've never done anything like it before. But working with the director, we got through it. He was very detail-oriented. Had an emphasis on, on authenticity, which I appreciated. And ultimately, I'm very grateful to have been a part of this project. I'm grateful for the opportunity to have helped Nathan Osmond with his song and video and the message that it conveys. One of my favorite parts of the video is, is when Robert Iverson, who's our featured uh, Marine in this video, how he's, he's riding there looking at a picture of his family, you know, how many thousands of miles away from him. And he just sees that, you see that little smile pop on his face. You know, these are real people, people that have families that they're away from, people that are sacrificing so much to keep this nation free. And uh, I just love to see that smile on his face. And then, you know, and also working with Krista, you know, we, uh, she really went back in time to those moments when her husband was right there in combat. The scene on the couch where I'm looking at, at our picture together um, is, was a really emotional experience for me because I feel incredibly blessed that we were able to, that, that Robert was able to make it home um, because I know so many women out there have had that same scene play out in their own homes, on their own couches, and yet their husbands aren't coming home and not able to make it. So I do feel incredibly blessed that things have worked out the way that they have. When I first listened to it, I was just touched by the, the lyrics and the message that it conveyed. And I had all these ideas that rushed to my head and I felt inspired uh, deeply by the song. And what I wanted to do is make sure that this video production, uh, the music video in general, conveyed that reverent, patriotic, sacrifice and service, God, family, country. I wanted that to uh, just illuminate uh, from this video, and I, I think we accomplished that. It's about praying for our troops and praying for those loved ones that we have out there and who are fighting and are on the front lines putting their lives on the, on the line for us. And uh, it reminds me of a story. My father, Alan, who trained for Vietnam, he told me that the first night that he was ever in the barracks, you know, he away from home and these guys and these rough and tough dudes and they're, they're all just getting their bunk beds, they turn the lights off and my father's laying there and he realizes, I haven't said my prayers. And then he starts thinking for a second, it's like, oh man, what are these guys gonna think of me? And then this overwhelming feeling came over him. He says, this, this voice came to his mind saying, who do you fear? man or God. And he said he jumped out of his bunk bed and he said the fastest prayer of his life. And he jumped back in and sure enough some guys were like, hey Osmond, say one for me. Right? But he felt so good that he did that. And the next night, you know what? Three or four other guys got out of their bunk beds and said their prayers. Well, their, their, their number came up and they were going to be shipped out to, to Vietnam. And this uh, roughest, toughest soldier uh, had one of the foulest mouths, you know, pulls my father aside and he says, Osmond, can we talk? He's like, uh oh, what I do? <laughs> he goes, alone? He's like, for sure he's gonna get beat up, right? He pulls him aside, pulls him into the barracks, and uh, he says, you really believe there's someone up there, don't you? And my father said, I do. And he said, I, I wish I knew somebody loved me. And he went on to tell my father that at the age of 12, his father, who had a bad drinking problem, forced him to go out and work and make money to pay rent to stay home. No wonder he was so rough around the edges. But he asked my father, will you teach me to pray? And my father, of course, taught him that it's a relationship with your Father in Heaven. He told him to address Father in Heaven. Thank you for what you, he's given us. And then to ask what you want, what you need. And then in close in the name of Jesus Christ. And then this, this rough and tough soldier said the very first prayer of his life, and then with tears in his eyes, he hugged my father and said, now I can go to Nam, knowing someone loves me. You 
You know, I'm so grateful to our sponsor, Ann and Flag Makers, for, for jumping on board and, and really helping us to decorate the desert with red, white, and blue. All those flags you see in this video were from Ann and Flag Makers, and so we're so grateful for them, Bob Caggiano and Mary Ripke. When I first talked to them on the phone and told them what we we're trying to accomplish with Stars and Stripes, they were totally on board. They found a way to get involved, and I'm just so grateful that they did because it really, that's the focus that you notice at the end of the video. It's not about me. We focus right back in on those flags. And, and it just really brought the message home. So thank you, Ann and Flagmakers, for, for getting involved. We appreciate it. You know, we're here at the Castle Recording Studio right now with Pritis Music Company, and I'm just so grateful to our executive producer, Rick Pritis, who's a, an amazing guy. In fact, we had a chance to work with each other throughout the years. My family has. This man knows music, and when he found out about this project and having family members that are currently serving our nation right now, he says, I'm on board. What can I do to help? My father had just died a couple months before, uh, Nathan approached me about the video and um, uh, my father was involved in the military in the Air Force, World War II, Korean War and then uh, Air National Guard after that and uh, at his funeral they had a, a, a military honors for him which was really awesome and you know my dad was, the military is really important to him, a big part of his life and so I had just been thinking about that obviously um, and then Nathan came along and talked to me about this and so it, it seemed like a, a good fit for me uh, at that time in my life. And um, also other members of my family are members of the military. My, um, my nephew was uh, in Iraq and I believe in Afghanistan also. And uh, so uh, the whole idea of this video is sort of fit right now. So let's bow our heads tonight Before we all turn out the lights Pray for those brave souls fighting for The stars and stripes